Hello and welcome back to Hardcore Season 2. I cut off the last episode early due to it being too long, so let's get straight back into it and explore 1.20 for real this time, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. I don't actually believe this, but I've reached the point where my diamond sword is actually about to break. We don't want to be a swordless whistless, so yeah, we've got to repair this thing. I think I'd prefer to enchant it, just on the off chance that I can add something good to it, but it doesn't look like we have the levels right now. Hello there, my cow army! This is a call to arms! Make yourselves useful and give me your XP. It's the only reason I still have you here! Let's see what we get then. Sharpness 2. Okay, well, enchanting that was pointless, but hey-ho, whatever. Cost six levels to repair? What a rip-off! I think it would be wise for me to make a loot chest for all the things I find from exploring. All the loot that I've already got will go in here, and anything else we find will be stored here too. Alright, our first destination shall be the Cherry Grove Biome. I want to use the new pink wood. Here we are, the Cherry Grove Biome. Oh, I should get some of these flower petals. Oh, I love these trees. Not only are they really pretty, but the shape of them is really good too. I really like that they're not just a totem pole with leaves on it like a lot of other trees in the game. They've got forks in the trunks, and some of the leaves hang downwards as well. Oi! Zombie! Get out of here! You're disturbing the peace! We've got ourselves a bee nest here. I can make a bee farm! Looks like the leaves have decayed a little bit, so let's grab the saplings that dropped, then I can grow my own cherry trees back at the village. This looks like an opportunity! Get in the boat! Oh, thank you! Now, will you consider giving me an ender pearl? No? No pearls. Shame. I'll just plant these saplings down. They should grow here. Looks like my chest plate has finally reached the stage where it needs to be repaired. The rest of my armor still looks okay for now, though. 1.20 also added camels. So before I go exploring, I'm going to make sure that I have a saddle with me. Just on the off chance that I run into one. I think we're ready for our first bamboo harvest. There we go! Awesome! Now I can plant even more bamboo. This seems like an excellent investment strategy. Bamboo just grows so easily. I have to make good use out of it. I can even make chests out of bamboo now. That's actually amazing. I don't have to waste any of the other wood types for once. Now let's go exploring. I think the jungle will be a good direction this time. Oh! There's actually a jungle temple just on the edge there. I didn't even see that from my base. I forget, does Suspicious Gravel generate in those? I feel like they should. Okay, what on earth happened to the swamp just there? That's a literal water crater. How has the world even come up with this? <laughs> Alright, let's make our way inside. I'm not seeing any Suspicious Gravel so far. Maybe it doesn't generate here? I wonder why it doesn't. I feel like it would go really well in the Jungle Temple. And it would make them a little bit more interesting to loot. Ah, oh, nice! Free arrows! Anything good in here? Not really. Just a little bit of gold. How do I do this puzzle again? And that's made a nice hole in the floor. Is there anything good in this chest? Eh, not really. I guess the gold is nice. I think I'll be taking all of the redstone components in here too. They're always good to have. That jungle temple wasn't particularly worth it, but onwards and outwards into the jungle! Oh, that's a cliff. Well, it looks like we've got a bamboo forest just over there. Oh, look at that! We have pandas! Just look at them, actual pandas! I don't think I ever got to see them in season one. Oh, I've got to go say hi. <laughs> hey there, pandas, how are you doing? Would you care for some bamboo? Oh, that's so adorable. I wish that the other passive mobs were as interactive as this. That would be so good. Oh, I think I see a desert village. Oh, please tell me there's a camel here. Please tell me there's a camel here. I can't see one just yet, but I'm hopeful. Oh, wow. That's actually a full-on desert temple just there, too. I love it when there's a pyramid to go with the village. It makes it feel like they were supposed to be together and the village was making use out of it. Wait, is that a camel I see? Yes, it is! Yes! Just look at that majestic creature! Oh, it's standing up! It knows I'm coming to say hi! Wow! Just look at you! You are beautiful! And you're so tall, too! Do you mind if I ride you? Is that okay? Yes, we've got to do it! I knew it would be a good decision to bring a saddle with me. Oh, look at them go! This is so cool! Now let me try the dash. How does that work? Oh yeah, that goes a decent distance. I could clear a river or a ravine with that. 
It does make the camel go a bit slow afterwards though. So I'm not sure if it's faster to use the dash or not with general travel. I think I could do some testing with that though. Now, what should I call you? Hmm, I know. I'm going to call you Carol. Carol the Camel. How does that sound? Do you like the name Carol? I think it would be a good idea to trap some of these villagers into their homes as well. I could bring some of this village over to mine, and also the Savannah villagers as well. And then I could have multiple different outfits. That could be good. I'll even save the nitwits. Okay, let's see what this desert temple has in store for us. Oh, creeper. It has a creeper in store for us. Okay, please don't explode. Oh, you know what? Let's keep running it around the pillar. Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> let's just close this hole in the ceiling. I don't want to have any interruptions while I'm here. The same goes for the door too. Okay, let's see what we have in the basement. I'll be taking the TNT. What do we have in the chests? Oh, we've got a saddle. I guess I didn't need to bring a saddle with me on this trip then. Oh nice, we've got another protection for book too. And also a mending book, sweet. I wonder what I should put that on first. Please, let me know in the comments below. So I'm actually prepared this time. I have a brush with me. So let's see what archeological goodies we can get, shall we? We've got some sus sand on the surface here. What do we have? It looks like an emerald. And that's because it is an emerald, nice. My very first archaeological find. That looks like a memory right there, actually. So let's give this a name so I never forget it. First archaeological find. I think I have enough stuff to start making a new chest of memories now, like I did in Hardcore Season 1, you know? Just a chest to store the sentimental stuff before I get around to making a proper museum to show them off. I'll do that back home, though. What else do we have in here? This looks like a staircase. Oh, random sandstone block there. Not sure that's supposed to be here. I feel like it should have been sand. And that looks like a doorway. Okay. Well, I won't dig the sand from underneath or I'll break the suspicious sand. So let's dig our way down from above. We have more suspicious sand. What are we going to get? Oh, I think this is a pottery shirt. Sweet. The archer pottery shirt. And we've just got a new advancement for that too. Oh, cool. We've got another shirt here too. What's this one going to be? The minor pottery shirt. Wow, I feel like we've gotten really lucky here that we've already got two shirts from just three sus sand because there is definitely a lot of other stuff that we can get from here. <laughs> What's that? What am I looking at? Oh, it's gunpowder. Oh my goodness. That's a diamond. I didn't know you could get diamonds from suspicious sand. That's amazing. <laughs> looks like we're getting another shirt here too. It looks like that's it. I think I've desussed all of the sus sand. I have to say, though, I love the fact that that's basically an entire secret room just here. However, I would love it even more if these doorways actually went somewhere. It would be really awesome if there was an entire dungeon down here. An entire tomb to raid with mummies and a sarcophagus and stuff like that. I'd really love to see something like that in the vanilla game. I think we got a really good haul there, though. Three pottery shirts and a diamond on top of that as well. Now, let me show you why the bundle should have been officially added in 1.20. My inventory is cluttered with multiple different items, and now it is not. I could continue exploring without having to go back home yet if I wanted to. It feels to me like archaeology desperately needed this feature to go with it, considering how each block of sus sand or gravel only gives you one random item from the loot table, which immediately takes up an inventory slot. Oh, cool. An invisible spider! I think it's a good thing that I blocked off all of the villager houses, or there would be a lot of villagers dying right now. <laughs> oh wow, look at that! We've got a coral reef! We've got a nearby warm ocean! I might be able to look for a sniffer egg in the future. Yeah, you go, Golem! You've got this in the bag! Woo! My hero! Oh cool, we've got a mazer! I have access to terracotta now! Oh, there's a ruined portal. And it's got a ship rain right next to it. That's lucky. Anything good in here? No. That would be a no. Hey, we've got a couple of empty maps. Maybe I should map the starter village so that I can get some before and after shots in the future. Anything in here? A leather cap with fire prop 3? We don't need that. But I will take the moss. That's a good thing to find. I don't feel like I've gone very far, but I think I've reached the edge of the land here. We might have to head back, unfortunately. But we can definitely come back in the future. I mean, there's a shipwreck right there. 
got to explore it once I have Respiration 3. <laughs> this looks like a good time to demonstrate Carol's dash ability. Oh, no, I messed it up. Okay, I'm determined to get this right. We'll try again. Come on, Carol. Let's dash. Oh, hey, it works. I think there's better examples out there than mine, but it works. <laughs> Getting this camel back home is proving to be incredibly difficult. I'm just trying to go back the way I came. Is it really so hard? I wish camels could jump. Uh, is that, is that what I think it is? Is that a trail ruins? I think it is. Oh, that's a brilliant find. I'll have to come back and investigate that one later. Okay, let's try out these maps and see what our village looks like. Well, it looks like a mess, all right. <laughs> Just basic starter farms and some houses that I didn't build. The plan is to completely change that, though. This village will become something new entirely. I think we need to make another map just off the side here. Oh yeah, we missed part of the village on the other one, see? I like these maps though. I'll have to lock them and do some progress updates in the future. Now let's just dump all of our loot in here. And then maybe go brush the sus sand in the pyramid that we found in the savannah village in the last episode. Yeah, here we are, Carol. This desert temple shouldn't exist. But it does! Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh, this one's looking like another shirt. What is that? It's a skull. TNT? Oh my goodness. I won't say no to that. No sorry. <laughs> oh, that just looks like gunpowder. Nice. We've got another diamond. We've got another shirt in this one. And there's an emerald too. More TNT? Wow. <laughs> Who keeps storing explosives next to their valuables in these things? That looks like everything in here, sadly, though. Once again, I'd love to see more rooms attached to this one. Maybe with a full-on pot on display. That could be cool. Right, come on, Carol. We can't hang around here at night. We've got to go back. Oh, for goodness sake. Go away, phantoms. Leave us alone. Me and Carol are just minding our own business here. Can I dodge them with a dash if I time it right? Oh, no. I've just made myself slow next to creepers. But I think I just trapped them all under a tree. Awesome. Entirely accidental, but hey, that works. Oh, we've got another river to dash across here, Carol. Do you think you can do it? Yeah! Well done, Carol. You're the best, Camel. I really want to excavate that trail ruins that I found, and my shovel is nearly broken. So clearly, we're going to need a new one. Any decent enchantments in here? Not really. And I guess I don't really have any levels right now either. Oh, our cherry trees grew. I can harvest my first trees. Oi! Get out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to get some cherry wood? And of course I have to replant. Oh wow. Just look at all of the petals falling from the leaves there. That's beautiful. I need to do something with those leaves. I think I can get a really good amount of bamboo here too. This should be enough to check out the new bamboo blocks. So it's nine bamboo to craft one block. What do these look like? Okay, yeah, I can get behind that. It's like a big bundle of bamboo. And it's directional like your normal tree logs too. You can also trip them, which turns it yellow. Okay, I can get behind a yellow wood type. No, I'm sorry, are these phantoms going to shut up yet? They've been burning for ages. <laughs> but that's not all. You can turn the bamboo blocks into bamboo planks, which isn't too different from the stripped bamboo. And then I think there's a new type of wooden planks just for bamboo here, which you can craft with bamboo slabs. This creates the bamboo mosaic planks, which look pretty cool, I have to say. They've got a really nice zigzag pattern to them. I can see myself making use out of that for a pattern floor design. I just wish that we could do that with the rest of the wood types, though. That would be great. Hey, Carol, it's time to get up. We've got a trail ruins to excavate. Here we are, Carol. We're back at the trail ruins. I don't want any interruptions while I'm digging out this place, though, so I think I'm going to have to secure the area and clear some space for myself. I don't want any creepers dropping in on me and blowing up my archaeological dig site after all. <laughs> this fence should help keep the mobs out. Okay, Carol, uh, you're going to be stuck on the other side of the fence, unfortunately. But I'll just be tying you up here so you don't get lost in the jungle. So we have secured a small perimeter around our dig site, and Carol is safe. I think it's time that we begin, don't you think? Let's see what we get. Nice, nice. We already have some sus gravel. What's he going to give us? Play. I think I'm going to make this a proper excavation and uncover the main ruins so more and more of it comes on display as I go down. Oh, we've got some more sus gravel. But what is that? 
Oh, it's an armor trim. Awesome. It's the Shaper armor trim. I don't know what that looks like, but maybe we can give it a try with our second suit of armor when we get to the point of upgrading. I think it will be a good idea to keep all of these resources that I'm getting from this dig site. So all the natural resources I get from excavating will go into this chest. And everything I can brush out of the suspicious gravel will go into this chest. That way, I could display everything I get from this archaeological dig site in a museum in the future if I wanted to. I could try to come up with a story around each item. That could be fun. I'll be making use out of ladders for this dig here. Oh, phantoms, please go away. I'm just hearing constant screaming. <laughs> oh, is that a candle? Yeah, that's a candle. A green candle. What's that? Is that a pottery shirt? Wait, it's the new music bit? Are you kidding me already? <laughs> Guys, I've brushed like five suspicious gravel and I already have the music disc. I'm gobsmacked. Wow. <laughs> Can someone please let me know the odds of me already getting that so quickly? Because I think I got seriously lucky just there. Wow. <laughs> oh, I've so got to play this. I've got diamonds on me. I guess they can go towards a jukebox. Oh, I'm so happy that our first music disc in this world is the new one. That's so cool. It could have been 13 or something, but this is a really good one. Oh, it's got this little drop here, and then it comes back and it just feels so happy and hopeful for the future. It makes me feel like I've accomplished something great. I think this is already one of my favourite discs. Right, that's it. I'm so excited to dig out the rest of this structure now. Let's do this thing. Welcome back everyone, it's done! I have exposed the entire structure and brushed almost every single block of suspicious gravel from this place. So this is the main central tower just here. It's actually a lot taller than I thought it would be. And it's got a fun little parkour staircase in the middle. We've also dug out what feels like an entire street. And it even takes us down towards a lush cave down here. I'm glad I've been able to find that. I did leave these three blocks of suspicious gravel just here though. It's actually possible to obtain that block in item form with a couple of cobwebs or a soul sand water elevator. So I've left that so I can try to obtain those in item form at some point in the future. Also don't worry, I've already checked if there's something valuable in them and there isn't. Don't you worry about that my friends. <laughs> this place just ended up being so huge. 
It was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I think I was down here brushing suspicious gravel for about two hours. It was so fun just brushing away at things and being excited about what I'd get from each block of sus gravel. I wonder if it's worth trying to restore this place in some way. Or trying to make an expansion on it. It would be cool to see what it could have been like in its former glory. Honestly, the fact that we even have a proper main road here makes me want to build a city and populate it with villages or something. The only thing that would make that project even more perfect is the tough golem. But alas, we probably won't get that mob. Rest in peace, tough golem. Rest in peace. You were so cool. I don't think it would be too hard to make an expansion to the trail ruins. The structure themselves may be quite buried in their blocks, but structurally, they're quite simple. Yeah, I think I like this idea. I might even keep most of it underground and have the village be like a cave village or something. <laughs> anyway, I have to say, if I find another trail ruins, I will be excavating that thing for sure. This was just such a fun time for me. And I want to do it again. We've got loads of loot from it too. Let me show you. This chest right here is everything that I got from the trail ruins. We got four different armor trims, which is just awesome. And also a bunch of different pottery shirts. We even got the new hanging sign. Let's see how that looks. Hi. There we go. So this is the new type of sign that was added in 1.20. That's part of the dig site loot though. So we've got to put it back. We also completely used up this diamond shovel and this brush. So I've decided to keep them in this chest. They could be shown off in a future museum as well as a way to show off the well-used tools of an archaeologist. Wait, why do I have 24 clay in here? I didn't get that much from a suspicious gravel. Oh, you know what? I think I accidentally mixed in some of the clay from the lush cave. Okay, I'm fairly certain we only got two from the sus gravel. Wait, no, this chest is missing something. The music disc is still in the jukebox. I never got a second one from the ruin, by the way. So I think I was really lucky that I was able to get that first one so early on. It meant that I could just listen to it in the background while I was digging, which was so good. <laughs> we did get quite a few pottery shirts from the ruin too. So let's have a look at them. I'd like to see what the new pots looked like. Now one of these ruins had a crafting table. I really want to use that for this. Where is it? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. So to craft the pots with the shirts, just have to create a diamond shape in the crafting grid with the sherds, and we can get ourselves a pot. And they don't even have to be the same kind of sherd either, we can mix and match, which I really, really like. Oh man, I wish we could do that with candles though, that would be so good for decoration. But anyway, these are the new pots. I actually really like this design, but I can't help but think that they've changed so much since they were shown in Minecraft Live all those years ago. I kind of missed the firing mechanic that they might have had. But these are still cool. They remind me of playing Spyro back when I was a little kid. Just running around as a tiny dragon breaking every pot I could see and getting the gems that were inside. Oh, those were good times. Honestly, that felt quite satisfying to break. I wish that you could store items in the pots. Not too many, maybe just a maximum of one stack. Because then I could make my own Spyro map. That would be so cool. You could place loads of pots around a build as a kind of mini game and then just have fun breaking all of them. That's a huge missed opportunity there. Anyway, I think it's fair to say that I had a lot of fun with the archaeology today. That was much better than I expected. I spent a good few hours just brushing stuff. I'm definitely looking forward to finding more structures in the future that I could excavate, because there is some really cool stuff that you can get from here. I'd really like to get more pottery shirts too, because those pots look excellent for decorating purposes. I think I'm going to have to end this episode there though, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.